I'm noticing it's a little sparse. The bottom shelf here is empty. You know, you got a few coins here on the top. Here's what happened. In the last couple days, silver has gone down about $2. Really, really smart people saw that dip and came in here and bought on the dip. Even though it was over $30, it was not $32 anymore. And all of a sudden, you know, $30 looked like a bargain. There's a lot of fear out there. A lot of fear about our economy. A lot of fear about the world. Uh, war situations and politics. A lot of people are putting away, for barter purposes, the constitutional silver, more so than the bullion. There was a real barrier at $30 for years, and we've crashed through that barrier, and I think maybe now, who knows, it could flirt with $50 again. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. What's up? Good morning, Adrian. Good morning. Silver Dragons, good morning. Good morning, Harry. We finally did it. This is the best community in the world. We made it to 250,000 subscribers. In January, I always set my goals for the coming year. And on New Year's Day of this year, I set our business goals and some personal goals of mine. And one of the goals was to get Silver Dragons channel. No way. To 250,000 subscribers. <laughs> and if I may say, you were skeptical. That was I, a big, I was skeptical. It was a big leap. <laughs> but Adrian and I are huge believers, not only in goal setting, but the fact that those have to be reduced to writing. Mm -hmm. Because if a goal is not reduced to writing, it's just a wish. But when you commit it to writing and you put a date on it, it becomes something that your subconscious works on all the time. And we got this done seven months early. You're right, we did. <laughs> and I just want everyone to understand that whether it's your stacking goals, your personal life goals, your career goals, your spiritual goals, commit them to writing. And I want to not hesitate to say thank you to everyone for getting us to this moment where we can actually say 250,000 subscribers. And I'm very grateful to all of you out there. Our big giveaway is the Centenario, the 1.2 troy ounce Mexican 50 peso gold piece. It's an absolutely beautiful gold coin. So this was a coin that was made from 1921 and it was produced all the way through 1947. I think in 1931, they stopped making it for a while and then started again in 1943. So it's 1.2057 ounces of gold. That's the content of pure gold in it. It has the Angel of Independence, or Angel de la Independencia, that was commissioned by a Mexican president at the 100th anniversary of Mexico. On the left side, you see the date of Mexico's independence from Spain, 1821, commemorating it. And the first one that was made was in 1921 to commemorate that mm. uh, centenario, you know. So 100 years of that. So you see on the left hand of Liberty there, you see that she has three broken chains in there. So what that represents, it's each century. So the three centuries that Mexico was under Spanish rule. And then on the other hand, it has the, I think it's a laurel wreath, which means that uh, represents victory. So victory angel. Yes. And that statue exists somewhere, right? Yes, Adrian? in the Centro de Mexico, so in the capital of Mexico. Wow. You can okay. see that statue and it's actually, it was made by an Italian sculptor and it's uh, has, it's covered in 24 karat gold. It has Independencia y Libertad on the side. So independence and liberty, it's just, just beautiful, the way that it's written on the side of the coin. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite things, that yeah. edge lettering. Exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, on the back, it has the Mexican crest with the golden eagle with the snake in its mouth, you know, showing that they're ready for war to defend their country. At 1.2 ounces, this is over $3,000 worth of gold. And if you went to buy this coin today, what are you thinking, Adrian? What would this oh, retail yeah, for? Upwards of $3,000 for yeah. sure. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below in the comment section. Your comment will be your entry to the giveaway. There will be six winners and the grand prize winner will win the Mexican 50 peso gold gold coin each of the five alternates will receive a one ounce silver maple leaf coin in three days from now i will randomly select the six winners from the comment section down below and to notify you i will pin your name at the top of the comment section in this 
video. So make sure to check back three days from now to see if you are a winner. And thanks again, everyone, for getting us to this important moment. Again, this wouldn't happen without you guys. So thank you very much. And, and again, thank you, Harry, as well. Well, I couldn't have done it without my wife's approval, and she's enthusiastically approved all the giveaways. Well, there it is. So good luck, everyone, on this one. And uh, I'll hold it for a brief moment in time, but eventually send it off to one of you. So I, I do want to talk to you, Harry, about the price of precious metals. We've seen gold and silver do very well, and I haven't done a video with you since silver hit $30 an ounce. Yeah, we were both on a brief uh, vacation. That's right. What has the sentiment been like here at the shop? I missed some of the, the crazy activity, but it appears that not only were people buying as always, but there was a real frenzy in people selling. Adrian was here. Yes. A lot of people waiting for, you know, to get out from under. Maybe they bought in 2011 or 12 when the price was in the 30s, and maybe they've been waiting a long time to get out. And it was time now to, okay, it hit 30, and we're going to get out of this silver position. So we were buying like crazy. Put a lot of pressure on the staff here, you know, the, the volume of stuff coming in. I will ask you about it, Adrian, because you were here. Did you feel like it was more busy than when gold hit that all-time high? I mean, do I think people are more excited about silver going up? Yes, it, it could be that, that there's more people excited about silver, but I think it's more people hold silver than gold. They were waiting for that $30 mark, that magic number in a lot of people's heads to sell. And then you had the other rush of people that wanted to buy. Mm. So you had, you know, both of those two things coming together, the people wanting to sell at that 30 mark, and then the people that think they're gonna miss out because silver is going to the moon. We saw those two sides of it. So Harry, I do wanna get your opinion on this. Last time silver went to $30 an ounce, it took 10 weeks for it to go to nearly $50 an ounce. It ran up very, very quickly. Do you think it's possible we can see something like that happen again? Well, I'm a firm believer that the past does not equal the future, however, there is some precedent for what you said, and I think after the pullback the last two days, you can see that it's on the rise again this morning. Sure. And there was a real barrier at $30 for years, and we've crashed through that barrier, and I think maybe now, who knows, it could flirt with $50 again. So if we do see silver run up to, say, $50, what's that going to do to premiums? What's that going to do to the availability of products here at the shop? I think availability will be good to answer your second question first because people will be getting out of positions that they've held for a long time. But I think premiums will probably shrink even further and they're pretty low now because traditionally as prices go up, premiums tend to go down. But that also will affect when people are selling, you're going to find shops, including this one, buying somewhat back of spot a little bit to protect themselves from a plunge you know you get to 50 fast it can go back down to 30 fast and so you probably see a dollar or two under spot for certain silver products just as a way for a dealer to protect themselves from a, a potential crash yeah well one thing i know people are wanting to do is trade their silver for gold yes if we see the price jump up and the ratio narrows between the metals do you think gold will be available at that point for people to trade yeah, I, there's not been any shortage of product this year. Yeah. I mean, a few little delays, five to seven days on ordering sometimes, but honestly, product is plentiful. So I, I don't think there'll be a problem if people want to trade on the ratios, that there'll be availability to do that. When they do come in to trade on the ratio, is it like a straight trade or do you have to write it out and kind of see the value of both things? Yeah, you've got to you've price what's coming in and what they want to uh, trade for. And so there's going to be premiums on one end or the other. That's how a dealer makes a living. Now, I know, Adrian, you sold silver on the last run-up. Yes. You timed it very well. Well, 42 I didn't get the, the full top, but I sold, I would think it was at $42. And when I went in to sell, I was surprised I got spot. But what happened was they were running out of uh, stuff to sell, running out of silver. So they were happy to get my silver. We don't know what premiums are going to be at that point. We don't know if it's gonna, the market's going to be flooded with silver or if it's going to be flooded with silver but going out as fast as it comes in. So it's possible people would be able to sell their silver at spot like you did last time. Yes. I think if the price does go up really, really fast, we're going to see a flurry of activity. Yes. I think we could see lines out the door 
people buying and selling. If that does happen, be patient with your dealer because we're trying to get to everybody. And when people are lined up out the door, everyone deserves the time that you require too. And so please just exercise patience with your dealer. I think we are in kind of a crazy time right now. I mean, I have never seen $30 silver since I've been stacking. I mean, I've only been doing it about six and a half years, but this is a new territory for me. And I, I've got a renewed excitement about the metal. I saw silver in the high 40s in 1979. And I will tell you, people were truly lined up down the block. Do you think that it's possible we could see silver blow past $50? Who knows? I mean, I don't want to be one of those people who says, oh, silver's going to 300. Again, I always think about if it's never been there before, I'm re really reluctant to say it's going to. But when it has been there before, I always say, it's possible. Well, if you adjust for inflation back in the late 70s, early 80s, it hit $142 an ounce. True. Although there was a very unusual circumstance then with the Hunt brothers trying to corner the market. And so it, it was a very artificial run up. Yeah, it did go down just as fast. Very fast. Well, yeah. Here's the other thing too. I mean, just look at gold. Everybody was, oh man, I wonder if gold's gonna hit 2000, if it's gonna hit 2000, right? We're sitting at 2300 comfortably for the past couple weeks. Yeah. You know, if you tell me, hey, gold at 2300 is going to stay there and hold there a few months ago, I might have been skeptical about it, to be honest. Yeah. And, and not only that, we had some of your viewers and some of our customers saying, well, I'm not buying gold at 2000. I'll wait till it goes back down. And it has not. I do want to briefly take a look at the case here, Harry. I'm noticing it's a little sparse as compared to what we've seen. I mean, the, the bottom shelf here is empty. You know, you got a few coins here on the top. Are people just buying up the junk silver like crazy or what? Well, here's what happened. In the last couple days, silver has gone down about $2. The exception being this morning where it's actually up. So really, really smart people saw that dip and came in here and bought on the dip. Even though it was over $30, it was not $32 anymore. And all of a sudden, you know, $30 looked like a bargain. And so they were buying bags of it yesterday that's crazy the smart stackers were buying the dip exactly yeah and if we look over here you do still have a bit of bullion you've got coins up top we got uh let's see eagles and rounds and bars well i think what's going on here is a lot of what you see in this showcase is people getting out from under things they've held at a price they paid a lot for and the reason that you don't see the same thing in the constitutional is because there's a lot of fear out there, a lot of fear about our economy, a lot of fear about the world, uh, war situations and politics. And so a lot of people are putting away for barter purposes, the constitutional silver more so than the bullion. And it is a good price right now. I mean, the premium is very low. It's actually a hair under what the uh, silver rounds would be is to is buying 90%. It just, it, it fluctuates back and forth. But right now, constitutional is a really good price. To me, that's unusual. Like I've been stacking for a while and it seems like usually rounds or bars are, are the cheapest. So for junk silver or constitutional silver to be the cheapest is kind of an anomaly to me. It is, but not everyone understands it. And the arithmetic is not as simple as, you know, full ounces of silver. But for those who know, the Constitutional is a big, big seller. Yeah, it's one of my pillars. If you're stacking in America, this is one of the three pillars of, of silver stacking. So you need to be picking it up. And like Harry said, it's a great price, a great thing to be buying. Yes. Well, we are living in exciting times, Harry. We are indeed. I'm very excited for this giveaway. Let's show it one more time. Uh, best of luck, everyone. And we will do the drawing here in a few days. All the rules will be down below in the description. So good luck on that giveaway. And uh, we'll see what the future holds, right? All right. Good luck, everybody. Thank you so Thank much, you Harry. Dragons. Thanks, Adrian. Thank you.